Hello guys, voice check on here. I'm gonna show you guys a program I've been working on for about a while now. You guys might have heard of it. Um, if you guys click on this video, you guys want to FPS boost. I will show you guys how to do that. There's a whole bunch of options I want to show you guys. It's the best fork of block shop, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys a few features. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is get on to here, go to the releases and scroll all the way down until you guys see voidshop.exe. Click on it and save it and install it. Just wait a few seconds and yeah. All right, next thing you guys wanna do is select your language. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to use English because there's not a lot of language supporters for it. So I recommend using English for right now, if you are English. Um, so next thing you guys wanna do once you're installed, we're actually gonna close out of it. And the next thing we're going to do, go down to voice trap here and we're going to go ahead and launch it. Okay. This will go ahead and install Roblox for you. There's a few extra options that we can have here. Once we install it, it should install it fast. All right. Now let's go and do that. Exit out, open a voice trap settings, go down to deployment or I meant modifications. And then you'll see manage compatibility settings right here. Once you open it, make sure disable full screen options is checked. And then next thing you guys can do is go down here. There's custom crosshairs and everything. Everything else you see here. It's pretty explanatory to yourself. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of crosshairs. I'm going to use this one. It's my favorite. Uh, best black editor. There's history. If you hover over it. After a few seconds. It will show this. It shows the history of class flags. Changes, updates, applies, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what this does. What this means, basically. If you go ahead and edit a value right here. Say true. It'll go ahead and pop over here and it'll tell you the date and everything, the date and time that you changed it. Do false, change it back. And that shows that. The thing I'm gonna show you guys is the fast fact settings. Now, this is pretty explanatory to itself as well, but I'm gonna show you guys the full breakthrough of everything. So you can open up system right here. There are CPU options right here. This is a logical cores. You can get everything if you go down here, task manager and performance. Get everything from here. Uh, and then you guys can actually go ahead and select your max amount of cores and everything else you guys want to do It's pretty explanatory to itself. So I'll leave it to that This is also pretty explanatory to the description wise, but we'll actually I'll show you guys my settings that I use I like to go ahead and enable all of these Because uh, it optimizes the game's memory and everything else. It's pretty self-explanatory to itself as well um, These are like hecka explanatory to itself. So I'll just go ahead and enable all of them because I like it I don't really need to enable all of it. I just like it for that extra performance. Now this, this just uh, scales everything to the rendering quality of your screen. This, what this is, it's your refresh rate. It's your refresh rate to your monitor, okay? So how to get this is display settings. Go down here, advanced display settings, and you'll get your refresh rate from here. Don't worry about if it's a value in a decimal, it does not matter at all. If it's just like mine is 240 hertz on my monitor, so the, your FPS will target to 240 hertz if it's 240 hertz. Now, for my FPS, I like to set it to unlimited, so I like to go and do that. Oh yeah, I forgot I set it to high. There you go. Yeah, it will cause latency issues. All right, so now we're doing the memory mode. What I like to go and do is to check by your GPU. Now, I don't really get rendering mode a whole lot. There's a whole lot of people that say it's different and everything, so yeah. Um, frick, my GPU is not showing. Okay, so basically, I have a NVIDIA GPU, right? I like to use Vulkan for NVIDIA. I, I don't understand what's the difference between all of it. But, uh, Metal for Mac and uh, DX is NVIDIA or AMD. I don't really understand it. Or I use OpenGL for AMD as well. But, yeah, there's really no difference for me. Now, these are self-explanatory to itself as well. These are little like buttons inside settings, like your little things. If you don't want them to show, it's kind of like bloat, okay? So this could improve FPS because it's kind of like bloat, just a little bit like bloat. Now what this is, it's the uh, blur effects in the background, the background screen of loading when you reload into games. I like to enable it because it actually looks cool. This all else is pretty explanatory as well. You can go ahead and enable the old green theme back if you want, don't like the blue theme. Uh, this is well, I don't like to touch any of this because I don't really like it all. Um, this too is self-explanatory. I like to actually enable some of it, not payload. And that's basically all. And this. 
All right, now moving on to appearance. This is where you could adjust your appearance for the void strap loading area, area screen. You uh, can enable custom themes by going down here and custom. Now to get these custom themes, I recommend going to hub. You could install um, themes right here. Look for the type and say themes. If you find these, I know it's kind of like weird. It just look at the type and if this says mods, it's just a mod. You can, down, you can get it for mods, just go up here, mods folder. Um, there's videos on it, how to do it, install it and everything. But yeah, the themes are pretty explanatory to do and everything. Flash flags. Uh, my flash flags are actually up here. I put mine in here. Uh, but yeah, now we actually got the shortcuts. These shortcuts are explanatory as well. If we want to click on it and click save, it will appear down here. Launch Roblox. And let's just do all of them. Okay, now we have voice trust settings and launch Roblox Studio. All three of them. I don't like them really. I only do Studio because I use Studio make games so i put that right there and yeah this is kind of self-explanatory itself as well i won't explain it in this video but uh this ai chat it's in beta right now i'm still working on it so there's only a couple commands you can type that you can type yo say hi and everything but yeah fast flags yeah it's kind of it's kind of buggy okay i'll add that in the next update i know i know and type yes i'm very sorry though because it is in beta, but yeah, I haven't really worked on improving into this update. But yeah, you can get a whole lot of flash flags here and everything else. Also, uh, if you go down to settings, there's a new CPU core limit. I'm working on it a whole lot. This is gonna be worked on a whole lot next update. So I wouldn't really about messing around with this right now. Hardware acceleration, explain to itself as well. I'll explain that in just a second. Production, this is current versions of Roblox. If you want, uh, let's say, a version that Roblox is currently working on, change it to live. If you want the current version of Roblox, change it to production. It's pretty self explanatory. Now, this is as well, um, yeah, my friend actually set this up for me, so I don't really know what this does. Credit the Miss Sam for adding this. So I don't really know what this really does, but I tested it out a few times and didn't really even realize the difference, so I'll ask him. Um, but yeah, disable hardware acceleration. Uh, what this does is it only affects voice trap, okay? If you want to save, close, and open up a voice trap again, you'll see that all animations are changed and the font does look different because it disables transparency effects on the actual font. So, yeah, it just does that. It's supposed to help with performance and everything on voice trap if you have issues. It can also help over Roblox, but just a little bit. I don't really know. But yeah, I just added that there because I got bored. So, yeah. I'm actually going to revert it back because I don't really like it. So let's revert back. And yeah, about page and everything else here. Credits to everyone else to help me with void strap and everything. Also, Discord URV. Okay, so um, use link cord. All right, so you see I'm playing void strap right now. If I go ahead and disable this, open up void strap again. Open it up. You guys will see that I'm not playing it. So yeah, there's, I like it on sometimes. I heard that it does uh, affect performance though by my friend, but I don't really see a difference. So you guys are gonna have to test that out for yourself. So yeah, uh, that's all I'm really gonna explain right now. Cause yeah, oh yeah, I forgot there's cleaner. So basically the cleaner is for like the logs and everything. So basically the logs are whenever you go inside a game, there's like a little uh, voice trap icon right here to click on it. It'll show logs and everything. If you guys want that, it is literally like, make it to where it automatically deletes itself after a day a month or a week you just enable this and it will save your memory and everything trust it does it was on a whole lot i love it credits to mid sam for making it as well because i would never make it without him obviously <laughs> but sam's my bro all right but yeah that's all i'm gonna show for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried my very best on this program oh yeah i'm also going to show you guys this real quick so if i open up notepad you guys will see here by uh hold on let's uh get my fast facts from hub if i go ahead and get my fast facts from hub i just delete all these add new importation and yeah i just put all this in here i'm gonna go ahead and copy all you'll see that this puts in a layout of only d order ff order and just normal f order and yeah so and so on so if i go in and copy this it will put it in a nice order layout of f loader order fi order ff order 
df order and uh, dff order so yeah that's basically it for that and this is basically the same thing as copy all it just literally just copies everything puts it inside of you can just send this to people it would be more easier for them to download it and everything and check everything out for now if you go ahead and do this let's say sporadic v1 i guess i don't know i just do that you guys can go and delete all these fast flags let's do all that go inside here you guys can actually go and load it you know load every single fast flag that you had recently this does save even if you uninstall void Shark completely even if you uncheck the um even if you unchecked the uh what is it called the clear all fast flags thing or whatever like that crap i forget the name of it but yeah that's all i'm going to be for today's video i hope you guys really did enjoy it. i really tried my hard and best on this program i'm going to keep updating it uh but yeah peace guys i love you guys have a good day